right to come here in Washington, D.C. and do something. Today is actually this year's last uh, master class for the Thelonious Smoke Institute this year. Uh, we're planning our schedule for next year now, but I, I must tell all of you that um, today we have what um, we <coughs> sort of like to refer to as a certified bona fide giant of the music. Uh, this gentleman has been on the cutting edge of jazz. Uh, I, I met him when I was, I was 19 years old when I first met him, and I'm, I'm 52 now, and he was on the cutting edge with Miles Davis back then, and it's been quite some time. So I'm not going to take up any more time. I'm just going to bring out one of the greatest jazz musicians in the history of the music, and I hope you enjoy yourselves. I think you're in for a really good time. Young people, Mr. Chick Korea. Good morning. For me, it's morning. Yeah, I'm a giant. Been a giant for 10 years since I've been eating a lot of pasta. So um, I, I've been thought a little bit about, you know, uh, what, how to spend the hour, and uh, I. There's, there's no sense in me, you know, yakking at you and telling you things because I don't know what you want to know. So, um, and, 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 you know, like, as far as I'm concerned, you know, uh, I mean, young people are always kind of burdened with, you know, having to be students. You're students and we're not. It's not true. See, um, any successful person I ever met has that kind of mentality. They have the mentality that they're always students. And all that means is you're always interested in something and you're always interested in learning. I thought I'd start by waking myself up and playing you uh, a, a, a tune by Thelonious Monk called Blue Monk. young man. Um, how many hours do you practice a day? Uh, well, so far, <laughs> six minutes. Uh, the, a the, the actual, um, I, don't, I, don't have a, um, I don't have a set routine these days because I travel a lot, you know. I'm always moving around, so when I'm traveling, I don't get a chance to practice very much. Just wondering um, your recommendations to these youth out here as far as back to the practice piece. Um, do scales really help? I mean, going over scales over and over and, and different chords and scales, or is it more important to just freestyle? Or do you have any recommendations for the youth as far as honing on their instrument? The point I'm trying to put across is that when, when you deal, when you're being a musician and you're trying to learn music, uh, you've, you've got a, a thing I, I want to encourage you to do uh, which, is, um, which is of greater importance than just learning, th learning mechanics by rote or definitions of things out of books. And what it is is you, you, you want to develop your own judgment on what music is and what these things are. Your own judgment. It's the first, it's the first action of uh, an artist to settle into. And I think it's probably the thing that you all like the most about it, too, which is the fact that you get to create. You get to, um, you get to use your imagination. You get to like have an idea and try it and go for it, you see. Do you play Stevie's tunes? Really? You want to come up and play one? What's your name? Rojak. Okay, this is Rojak. He's going to play for us. Rojak. <laughs>
know, I have found that that's a, a person's sense of rhythm and sense of time. I have found uh, a, a pretty, uh, um, it's, a, it's like chasing a ghost to try to, to try to figure out what the basic qualities are. To answer that question, who have I enjoyed playing with, in truth, it may sound like mushy, but it's true. It's like I, I, I've enjoyed playing with everybody. Uh, I, when I play and when I'm playing in someone's band or rehearsing or doing anything musically, playing my own music, I'm, I'm, I'm in the best spirit in life that I could be in. Uh, a way to practice improvisation and so forth. I, the, only, the only way I've found to, to really uh, um, make advances like that is just keep improvising. One way I look at it is, is, that, is that as you practice, you, you build up a, you build up a um, um, what you call it, a, uh, a satchel or a, or, a, or a place. You build up a, a store of techniques and things you do, you know? Like if you can do, uh, uh, or you can, I don't know, you, 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 learn a, you learn a scale or you learn a thing and you learn, and, it, and it's something that you now know and you, you put them in your bag. You know, it's like, what, it was, I, maybe it's that where that word comes from, right? Your bag, that's my bag. They, they don't even say that anymore. But they used to, hey, what's your bag? The bag of tricks, that kind of thing. You know, you put it in your bag. So, so as you learn something, it's in your bag. You learn something, it's in your bag. You learn something, it's your bag. Then, then the, the idea of improvising, I think, is, is that when you stop practicing and stop thinking about what's in your bag and you just play. So then what's ever in your bag is part of your resource at that point. It's part of what you now can, will come out of you and what you can do. Okay, it's a wrap. Thank you, thank you all for coming. Uh, it's been great talking to you. Good luck in everything that you want to do with music, and uh, hope to see you again.